I'm Ray, Beam Consultant, and I'm working here at Cates Hill Primary. Today's lesson is with a Year 2 class, and we're working from the Brain Buster Maths Box Year 1 and 2. The activity we're doing is called Shapes from Four Squares, and it will involve the children in looking at relationships between squares, properties of squares, and carrying out an investigation where they're going to solve a problem of trying to find all the possibilities. Could you put your hand up if you can tell me something about a square? Yes. It has four corners. What else can you tell me about a square? Yeah. It's a 2D shape. It's a 2D shape, a square. It's a flat shape we're looking at. So the thing we need to remember is it's got four straight sides that are all the same length. And it's got four corners, which are all the same. And all squares look like that. They might be bigger or smaller, but they all look the same. Now, on your table, you've got some squares. I'd like you to take three squares each. Just take three squares each. What we're going to do with these squares, have you got three? Yeah. What we're going to do is make some other shapes by putting these squares together. Now, with the three squares that you've got, can you make a shape by joining your squares together along whole sides? Just have a look around the table, see what other people have made. Can you make a shape that joins the three squares together along whole sides? No corner to corners. What I'd like to do next is take a piece of squared paper and a pencil. And I'd like you to spend a little bit of time just drawing on the square paper those two different shapes made from three squares. Can you draw a shape that's three squares joined together? Beam is a way of promoting mathematical thinking and learning by doing challenging, entertaining and fun activities. It uses a wide range of resources, it's not entirely textbook based, it's about problem solving, it's about investigational work where children work together to learn maths in a fun way. So now I'd like you to take another square tile, so that you've got four. You need four tiles each. So in this lesson, the children have been using mathematics in an interesting way, using investigational problem-solving skills, which will enhance their maths learning, and which they can also apply to other areas of the curriculum.